Today's yin yoga session will support the stage three task of connecting to yourself, recognizing specifically that you are more than your needs and your wants. This is something we inherently know. We know we are more than our needs. We know we are more than our wants. So the question becomes, what are you? If you are not your hunger, if you are not your exhaustion, if you are not your desires for this or that, if you are not your choices, if you are not this body, what are you? Who are you? So the question to consider today is, what are you beyond these things? Who are you beyond this body that you are moving through poses today? Beyond this breath and this heartbeat? Beyond needs, beyond wants, beyond titles? Are you perhaps the divine being inside experiencing this session? We'll begin by setting up the breath. Today we're going to try a three-part breath where we inhale and feel it through the head and the throat, the chest, and then the belly. So into the head, the chest, then the belly fills. Then we exhale in reverse, the belly in, chest in, and head. And then again, in through the head, chest, belly. Now squeeze in the belly, out, belly, chest, head. And we can squeeze it down to get out a little bit more. Again, inhale, head, chest, belly, and exhale, belly, chest, head. Let's do a few more of those. Inhale, and exhale, squeeze the belly. Inhale. And exhale. Again. Inhale. Head. Chest. Belly. And exhale. Belly. Chest. Head. Again. One more. And return to breathing normally. Let's get started. From here, we'll come into a half frog. From laying flat on the floor, grab a block or sandbag. We'll start with the left leg so that you can see what I'm doing. And bring the left leg up, resting on that sandbag. Now, if you prefer to not have a prop, you can do that too. Uh, the prop will give you a little bit more stretch in this position. So see what works for you today.
Looking for a stretch in the inner thigh. An opening of the hip. Switch into the other side. Bring the leg down straight. Move your prop around to the other side if you're using one. And bring the right leg up at a 90 degree angle. Getting that stretch in the inner thigh. Finding your point of comfort. Adjusting as needed. Coming up from this one, we'll put our props aside and come back 
an easy sit for just a couple of breaths. From here, we'll come into a revolved child's pose. In this child's pose, we keep our knees closer together and enter it from a table. We'll take the right arm up and through, resting on the right shoulder. Now, for support in this pose for a yin practice, you may not feel like you need anything at all or you might feel like uh, you would enjoy um, a block or a bolster, maybe more like a bolster or a pillow or a sandbag under the shoulder if the uh, pressure on that point is uncomfortable. So find your revolved child's pose. Switch inside, push up slowly, back to table, take the left arm up and through to resting on the left shoulder. Right forearm is on the ground to support. If this is uh, hard on the knees, uh, you can fold up your mat, uh, fold it over a couple of times to provide a nice cushion for the knees.
pushing up slowly. Coming back to an easy sit for just a couple of breaths. From here, we'll move into a bound angle. Soles of the feet together. They can be close in with blocks under the knees, or they can be further away from you, also with blocks under the knees. We are going to be folding forward, so gather your props for that. And find your most comfortable bound angle, and that could be different each day. You can use a combination of blocks to support you. And remember to uh, change up the height of your blocks as you deepen the stretch over the course of holding the pose.
Come up slowly. Move your props and we'll come back to an easy sit for a couple of breaths. Now into a Sage Marici 2. We'll start with the left foot and bring that all the way up to the hip. The right foot, we're going to bring the heel back to the ankle or just slightly forward of the ankle. We want this leg to be far enough to the right that you can get down beside it, but not too far. We'll be Folding forward, reaching forward with the heart, and then taking the arms in a bind around the right leg. If this is uh, too intense, please choose a different position, whatever your body is craving right now. In terms of support, you might like a block on top of the left leg. That you can lean over. Adjust your props as you deepen your pose. up slowly and we will switch sides this time the right heel comes to the left hip the left heel comes back to meet the ankle maybe a little further over to the left make sure there's room to get by the leg reach out with the heart take a bind Remember that you can support this position with a block on top of the right leg this time. And breathe. Adjust your props as you deepen the pose. And 
and slowly come up. Put your props away. And we will check back in with an easy sit for a couple of breaths. From here, let's head down to the ground, swing yourself around, and come down, lying flat, legs are long, shoulders tucked under, and arms at the sides. From here, we'll come into bridge. To support this pose, we might want a block uh, or a bolster or a sandbag. Bring the feet towards the pelvis. Lift the hips up and support. Now you might like a little bit higher support or you might like a little bit lower support right behind, uh, underneath the sacrum. Find your most comfortable bridge and breathe. Slowly remove your props and come back down to lying flat on the floor. From here, we'll move into a supported fish. For this pose, you will want a, a sandbag or a pillow or a bolster. We're going to put it right behind the hips. For the legs, you might want to 
tuck them in, or you might want to leave them alone. Uh, do what works best for you today. And we will roll back over, crown of the head to the floor. Arms to the sides or on the belly, whatever is most comfortable. Adjust the legs, either out long or half lotus or lotus if you care to. And breathe. When you're ready, lift yourself up slowly, remove your props, put them away, and lie back on the floor, nice and flat again, in Shavasana. Coming into Shavasana. Shoulder blades tucked under. You might like a pillow or a bolster under the knees for comfort or under the head or nothing at all. Legs can fall to the sides a little bit. Hands can be at your sides or resting on the belly. This is your time to integrate your practice. What you noticed today. What came up for you today.
when you're ready, start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Remove any props or pillows. Maybe roll the wrists and the ankles. Start to move the arms and the legs. Maybe take the arms up for a stretch. And roll over to one side for a rest, just a moment, while you get your bearings. Extend the top leg out and push up to a seated position. Thank you for joining me today. The love and the light and the teacher in me honors that in you. Namaste.